Hey everyone, I've been meaning to put this video out a lot sooner, but I've been extra busy with my new passion for spending money on furniture to restore, and I haven't had my mic, so I'm just now finally recording these vocals about a week after I put the actual video together. So this is the first purchase, per se, that I've made of my new furniture restoration career. I actually got this dresser and mirror set completely for free. It was a free curbside pickup I found on Facebook Marketplace in the town I go to school every day, so it was almost like it was meant to be for me. I just drafted one of my friends to help me load them in my truck one day after school and just took them home and started working on them. And I must say, for my first official project, I am very pleased with the results, so stick around to the end of the video to see how they turn out. Both the dresser and the mirror were actually in really good condition, just the mirror had a few dings in normal wear and the mirror was really outdated. The drawers had this really neat American lining that I of course kept. I also really liked the brass hardware that the dresser had, but I wasn't sure if I was going to clean them up and polish them, or spray them with this oil rubbed bronze paint that we used on all the handles in our house. My decision would be based on the color tone I went with for the dresser, which at this point I was undecided on. So I set the hardware aside for the time being and sanded the dresser down. The top itself took multiple hours to sand down as I wanted to bring it all the way down to the bare wood stain. I knew that no matter what I went with for the color tone, I wanted the top and bottom of the dresser to be stained and the rest to be painted. So I sanded the top and bottom down as best I could to the bare wood, and just hand scuffed the rest so the paint would bond to the wood better. I also took a few minutes to kind of file down the drawer tracks to ensure proper sliding of the drawers. I decided that for the color tone, I chose I wanted to preserve the brass look of the hardware, so I boiled all of it in a mixture of half water, half white distilled vinegar, which cleaned it up really nice and brought out a sort of rose gold color that I liked. I then scrubbed it all with an old toothbrush and polished it all with brasso and an old sock. Back to the dresser. I patched all of the little nicks and dings with some wood filler and sanded it all down when I was done drying. I then taped off the top and painted the dresser charcoal. The exact color is called Fired Earth and it is from Valspar. 
I went the extra mile to do it properly and got the really expensive cabinet and furniture enamel paint. I thought the color would look great with the brass hardware. Brass is always kind of hit or miss for me. Uh, there's certain instances where I really like it and there's some where I think it's ugly, but I decided to go bold with this dresser. I loved the way the charcoal looked against the bare wood and I was conflicted for a while on whether or not to just leave the bare wood as it was and poly it, but there was something stopping me from doing it and that was because I was kind of falling in love with the dresser and I considered keeping it. If I decided to keep it, I would want to stain the wood dark no matter what, but if I knew from the beginning that I was going to keep it, I would have also painted the dresser white to match my room. So I compromised and chose the stain that I would want if I kept it, and chose a paint that I wouldn't mind if I kept it and if I sold it.
so surprise surprise, I stain the top with my signature choice of Minwax's semi-transparent dark walnut. I half cringed as I first applied it to the beautiful natural wood, but when it was all done I thought it was just as appealing. I then coated the top in a satin finish polyurethane. Before I show the results of the dresser though, let's not forget about the mirror. I took the time to ever so carefully remove all of the ugly attachments so that there was just the original square frame remained. There was a tongue in the wood on the two sides, which I took a circular saw to, and made sure to keep a straight cut, mind you. Then I sanded it all down to the bare wood, which took significantly less time than just the dresser top alone took.
I then stained the frame to match the stain on the dresser, and after it dried, it was time for the final results. The project was time consuming, but it was very much worth it, and overall an ideal first official project the entire time through. I did decide to keep the dresser for myself and sell my other dresser, but I did list the mirror for sale. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my hopefully more frequent videos.